Y'all ready? First time kind of just roll up and start my own press conference. I'm I'm not for the the, the, the transfer movement. Um, I think kids you need to do their homework early. I think they go to school for the wrong reasons and not not what they need to really focus on and concentrate. It's happening. We we've had a couple of transfers. Um, I'm not going to build my team around transfers. So. It, uh, I'm not fond of it. I'm not fond of it. And, and I, don't, I don't know what the NCAA is going to do about it. I, I think coaches, the majority are not fond of it. But we've heard that it's going to, it's probably going to pass. So you kind of got to go with it. <laughs> yeah, we've got a big, we, our wingspan is huge. It, it is. It's, it's, we're extremely tall. We are lengthy. Very athletic. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna help us play the way we want to play, and that's fast and and getting up and down the floor. Absolutely, we're we're doing a lot of. We have got high energy, and I'm gonna use that. We're gonna press more. We're gonna run more. We ran a lot last year. We're gonna run more. Extend uh, extend our out on the floor, we're going to play a lot of people because we're going to run and press. So I think you'll have the opportunity to see a lot of people play. Our, our leadership has matured. Avina, uh, Avina Westbrook has, has really stepped up her game. Mimi Jackson, Renaya Davis have really taken on that leadership role. Um, our kids have been in the gym, and they've been in the gym together. So when you do that, you, you can't help but create a bond. In the past, we, we haven't done that. We haven't been around each other. They're around each other a lot off the court. So it's just a good feeling to see them, the togetherness, the wholeness, just the, the tight bond that they have. And they, they develop that. And you, they have to. They have to do it on their own. I can tell them. I can kind of direct them. But it's up to them to, to learn from each other, understand each other, because they're all different. And if you can get them all together on the same, in the same mold, you got something special. Well, I, I think our, our loss last year was – I was disappointed, players were disappointed, and they took it upon themselves to to get in the gym and make their them personally better. And they did that to make betterment up for the team. So when you get in the gym and you're around each other, there, there's just a, there's a camaraderie, there's a respect. And, and I think that's what they did. And uh, we got young ladies that want to be there, want to be a part of a team. Um, so it, it's just, it's a fun, fun group to be around. I am really enjoying them. And, uh, you can tell, you can just feel it. The chemistry is in the air and you can feel it. Uh, extremely athletic, uh, can shoot the three, can penetrate super quick. Uh, it will be a great addition for their program. A lot of similarities. Our, our freshmen last year are now sophomores, and they've matured because they had they played a lot. We played a lot of our freshmen last year. Same thing this year. Our freshmen are the exact same. They're they're talented, and, and but the talent is not any good unless you use it within your team. And our freshmen right now are buying into the system, buying into their teammates, this team, 
And I will say this, they're fearless. The, the, the five we got, they're fearless. And that's what I love because they're pushing, they're pushing these sophomores. They're, they're pushing the upperclassmen. And that's what you need because we're going to need them. We're going to need them because we're majority uh, freshmen and sophomores. So we're still young. But the, the youth from last year is now matured to this coming year. Well, we all do. I, I, I don't know if I could pick who's going to, who would be ranked one, two, three, four, five. I, I just know how important the SEC is to all these teams, how talented, how athletic, how quick, great coaches. So it, it's, it's just been a combination of a lot of things. And this is kind of a, a, a little bit of a new era for us. Asia, Asia Wilson's gone, Mercedes Russell, Jamie Nard has gone from our team. So uh, Mississippi State, four of their starters are gone. So it's, it's, it's a little bit wide open. But I, you're going to see the same quality talent that you've seen in the past. Um, the only thing I could recall is when we lost Parker, Candace Parker and Nikki Anasiki, and we lost our starting five, and we came in, and uh, um, I, I don't think we were ranked number one. So, no, the answer is no. Well, I, I think Mississippi State, is, you, you talk about the transfers. I think they've taken advantage of the, the transfer rule, and they've brought in kids. They're going to help them immediately, and um, good for Vic. So, and you also see there's young kids that were there that played a lot who now get their shot. So, yeah, it, it, it's. I mean, he they got a great transfer in in Howard. I mean, she's she's a immediate help for your basketball team. So, um, that's probably why they're they're ranked one. Well, you, you do that through recruiting, and I have a, gr I, I have a great relationship with our kids, and um, it is very important. You, kids perform when they know you care, and I care about these kids, obviously basketball, but I want to make sure that they get their degree, and I get, ready, I get them ready for life, and they don't understand that right now, and I get that because I was there. All I cared about was playing basketball. I didn't want to go to class. And we've got to get them, I've got to get them um, involved with their future. And the, the basketball end of it is, uh, I told them two things. I don't want to teach, I don't want to coach effort. I've been coaching effort. I don't want to do that anymore. Either you're here, you're in, or you're out. I don't want to coach effort. And you got to listen. And for these kids to listen, oh, my gosh, that's the hardest thing. And so those are two things. And if, if they do those things, I'm not going to get I'm not going to get upset and, and angry but when those two things happen I'm not happy because that's the only way they're going to develop is their listening skills we got they got to be able to communicate and I don't know why you wouldn't play this game if you don't play it all out you shouldn't you shouldn't play the game you shouldn't should you shouldn't be at the University of Tennessee if you're not going to give effort Well, Renaya Davis was, was an outstanding athlete in high school. Had a great high school coach, great AAU coach. Um, I saw so much potential in, in Renaya, and she's one of the young ladies that I, I said that um, she, it, 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 she cares, and she wanted to make her get her game better. And uh, last year, freshman, one of the, the freshmen, all SECs, but she wants to take it a step farther. She understands that she has to step up and lead this basketball team. And she's done that to gotten the respect from these uh, other players because she's been in the gym 
just almost every day this summer and worked on her game, worked on the game, worked more ball handling, worked more posting up. So to get a kid in there, and I, I didn't tell her to, I didn't force her to, when they want to get in on their own, great things happen. And I think you're going to see great things that have happened with Renaya Davis. We like that. South Carolina, they're, they're going to be great. Look, Donna's, Donna's played, um, Harris was young when she started. She's played some, some players young, and they're maturing. And I, I don't, don't ever count out South Carolina. They'll, they'll be fine. They add Taya Cooper. They've had, they had a, a, a good recruiting class. So they'll, they'll be tough. They'll be, they'll be solid because they've built a foundation. Is that it? Yeah, I, to me, I just don't think you can count out SEC teams because this league, we, just, we beat up on each other. We just do, and there's, there's not a given game. There's not, you can't go on the road and, and go to um, somewhere where you think, oh, it's an easy there's – not, there's not an easy win. There's not an easy for, – for us, Alabama's been our Achilles heel. So, if you look at the numbers and the records, you think, oh, well, Tennessee's – no. So I, I think that you don't look at the, the record. Uh, I think that's why each year we get in eight teams, nine teams, because they're very deserving of it, because we don't have a league that we're blowing people out. We're not blowing people out. We're battling. It's a grind. It's down to the last two minutes and who can produce. And um, so I don't think you should punish a team about getting into the NCA when you have a league that is as strong as the SEC. It, should we have gotten eight teams, nine teams? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I've played all of them. There's not an easy, there's not an easy win. Yeah, I, uh, a contract extension, obviously very appreciative. Love the support. Coach Former as um, has been great for our university. It's kind of bringing back the family atmosphere. Um, you know, I, I love what I do. And the opportunity to continue to coach at Tennessee is, is a uh, blessing. And I, I, I just appreciate the university of having the faith in me to, to carry on the program. Good? All right. Y'all be safe going home.